marriage nightmare. Meghan's dirty move on letter pushes relationship with Harry closer to collapse. Meghan Markle leaves Prince Harry last as she lists the members of her family in a jaw-dropping letter to U.S. Congress leaders. The Duchess of Sussex made a huge political leap after penning a letter to Congress. Meghan called for Speaker Nancy Pelosi and leader Charles Schumer for paid leave for mothers. Meghan, who welcomed a daughter Lilibet Diana in June, acknowledged how her and Harry were not confronted with the harsh reality and impossible choices other parents suffer. In her plea for paid leave, Meghan said it should be a national right like many other countries. She said, paid leave should be a national right, rather than a patchwork option limited to those whose employers have policies in place, or those who live in one of the few states where a leave program exists. If we're going to create a new era of family-first policies, let's make sure that includes a strong paid leave program for every American that's guaranteed, accessible, and encouraged without stigma or penalty. I know how politically charged things can, and have, become. But this isn't about right or left, it's about right or wrong. However, when signing off, she left her husband to the end of the list. She concluded, so, on behalf of my family, Archie and Lily and Harry, I thank you for considering this letter, and on behalf of all families, I ask you to ensure this consequential moment is not lost. There is little doubt that going from supporting players in the royal family to glittering A-listers in Hollywood has been a major change for Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan, but have the Sussexes settled on who is the star of their own show? In January 2020, after the couple made the announcement that they were stepping down as senior royals, inside sources told Best Life that Harry and Meghan may have different expectations of post-royal life. Royal experts had a wide range of predictions at the time. Biographer Sally Bedell Smith told Vanity Fair that Meghan really regrets having had to give her show business career up to become a working royal, which didn't compare to her life as a television actress. Stephen Bates, author of Royalty Incorporated, Britain's best known brand, had dire predictions about Harry's life in Hollywood. He told The Guardian, I can see a lot of parties with Harry standing in the corner and people saying, there's the bloke who used to be in the royal family, all this stuff about huge marketing opportunities, and people talking up their brand and how much it will earn them, obviously their celebrity will carry them so far, but in a year or two's time, what are they going to do? In the 18 months since Harry and Meghan left Britain, they have seemed perfectly in sync with each other and their goals but recent events have some insiders speculating there may be some trouble ahead for the couple. Read on to find out the one thing that could take a toll on their relationship. Previous, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal exit could prove a diplomatic nightmare, and even come into conflict with Boris Johnson's governmental agenda, according to a top former government aide. Harry and Meghan's royal exit was announced this month, and after crisis talks at Sandringham the Queen reluctantly agreed to the couple's resignation. Although some terms have been thrashed out, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex still face months of negotiations over their financial and legal status. In addition, as the January 31st Brexit date looms, the UK still faces complex diplomacy of its own. With British diplomats working on delicate negotiations with Europe and the US now and in the future, a former top government aide has voiced concerns over how Harry and Meghan could operate independently, and potentially against UK government interests. Jonathan Haslam, John Major's former Chief Communications Secretary commented on how the royal exit could prove a diplomatic nightmare in The Spectator last week. Mr Haslam wrote, difficulties will arise from the couple's business arrangements as they seek financial independence. From a diplomatic perspective, the worry is less about their endorsing products, more about them taking rubles from an iffy oligarch, say, particularly if that involves overseas tax havens.